Are you thinking of getting married and you want to sponsor your spouse for a green card? Are you wondering what you should and shouldn't do? Well, here are five tips that can help you. Hi, I'm Shadi Khan, the South Asian attorney. I'm licensed to practice law in California, and I help people worldwide with American immigration law. I know that you're eager to start the process because you want to be with your loved one as soon as possible, but filing too early can hurt your case. Take your time to gather all the necessary documents and evidence. Make sure everything is accurate and complete. A rushed application with errors is a big no-no. So slow down, take a breath, and get it right. Personal situations like health problems or family emergencies can come up, right? Making it tough to finish the application. So don't wait too long. Also, green card application fees can go up, so waiting might mean that you have to pay more. Immigration laws and rules can change too. If you file too late, you might miss out on a better condition or more lenient rules. So what do I mean by a weak application? It's when you submit just the forms and a few pieces of evidence. What you need to do is overwhelm them with proof that your marriage is real including as many documents as you can, photos, joint bills, travel receipts, or anything else that shows that you live and act like a married couple. A thick file can make a loud statement that your marriage is genuine. If you're finding these tips helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps this video reach more people just like yourself. Some people think that they can submit the application several times and see what happens, so just take chances. Filing a strong case only once is crucial. If you get denied and have to reapply, it takes even longer and looks way worse. So take this process seriously and put your best foot forward from the beginning. If you have to go for an immigration interview, keep your answers short and to the point. Only answer what you asked. There's no need to offer extra information. The officer knows what they're looking for. So let them ask the questions. Answer honestly, but briefly. If you don't know the answer, it's okay to say that you don't know. And now a bonus tip, have the right mindset. Approach the green card application process with patience and perseverance. Understand that this journey can be lengthy and may require detailed documentation and also thorough preparation. Stay organized, keep a positive attitude and remain proactive in gathering all the necessary information. By maintaining a determined and focused mindset, you can navigate the application process more effectively and increase your chances of success. Okay, finally, you already think she's perfect now it's time to ask her to marry you. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you need any help with the green card process, don't hesitate to reach out. I'll see you next time.